iron product of water and pH. We will see the relationship between the two and how we can predict the pH of solutions later. Water undergoes auto-ionization. At 22 degrees Celsius, we can write an equilibrium expression for this change. If you make an equilibrium expression and the change in concentration associated with it, we know that for every mole of water that undergoes ionization, one mole of hydrogen ions and one mole of hydroxide ion is formed. So if x moles of water undergoes dissociation at 22 degrees Celsius, x moles have decreased, which produces x moles of hydrogen ions and x moles of hydroxide ions. If you substitute this value into the ion product expression, which is Kw is equals to H plus to OH minus, we can see that we can write it as Kw is equals to x to x which is equals to x squared. Solving for x Iron product for water is determined to be 10 to negative 14. So if you substitute the value, you will get the X value or the hydrogen ion concentration, which is also equal to the hydroxide ion concentration. X equal to root of 10 to the negative 14, which is the value for the iron product of water. X would be equal to 10 to the negative 7 moles per liter. Since X is the same for hydrogen and hydroxide ions, both the concentration of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions are the same. Using this value, we can now determine the pH of the solution using Sorensen's equation. Therefore, the pH of normal water at 22 degrees Celsius would be 7 because the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative 7 moles per liter. Since the ratio of hydrogen ions to hydroxide ions is the same, the pOH, which also can be calculated using an equation similar to the pH is equal to negative log of H positive, will give you a, give you a pOH of 7. Now if you add pH and pOH, it's going to be equal to 7 plus 7 is equal to 14 and we have a pH scale. The pH scale starts from 0 to 14 and if the hydrogen ion concentration is less than 7, closer to 0 is more acidic. And if the hydrogen ion concentration is greater than 7, closer to 14 is more basic. 7 is considered the pH of neutral water. This is based on the Kw of water at 22 degrees Celsius. If the temperature of water goes up, 
KW or the dissociation constant changes, giving you a larger value for the H plus ion concentration, which implies the pH of neutral water can be less than 7. And the opposite is true if the temperature goes down. But for all practical purposes, we do consider pH of water to be 7 based on the assumption that Kw is 10 to the negative 14.